What's up everybody on today's menu? Chicken wings, buffalo wings, however you wanna make them, it's chicken wings. If you can believe it, it's been nearly two years since I showed you my recipe the last time. That means it's been five years since I debuted it on a conversation with Colin. Uh, as usual, it continues to evolve and do it. And plus, if we're doing a cooking show, it's gotta be about it. Cause chicken wings are what got me into cooking, I really do think so. They're my favorite food, you know this, I know this. And it was just the fact that I was eating so many of them out that I figured I had to figure out how to bake these chicken wings so I didn't die of eating fried chicken wings each and every day. What I like to do is do all the prep work before I get to the chicken wings. So of course, this is gonna be my egg bowl. I can start right there actually. Come over here, do this. But now Nick, you want me to try this with one hand like Murphy Brown. Exactly. How did she do it? I don't remember that part. So you crack in the middle. Yeah, I, right I think there. it's gonna be like this, right? And then and then just pry them apart with your here hands. We go. Here try we go. it, try it. Not terrible. Not as good as Murphy Brown probably. No, but I she mean, did the crack. And then maybe get your maybe get your fingers a little closer together. A little closer. Closer? Together. Closer, yeah. And then that way you can. See, I'm using the thumb. There a lot. you go. I'm not using the well, it's all over my thumb, so I don't know if we can really count that as there you go. You know what I mean? I like it. Whisk these bad boys. You're a good whisker. Thank you. I feel like it's one of the traits I have from being a child. I used to make uh, egg sandwiches a lot. I used to like I like, I used to try to cook as a child. So I'm making uh, enough wings here for two people, which for, is two pounds here. I'm making sides, of course. We're gonna make some uh, corn, this, and this is simple, I know, but it's, again, the whole point of cooking with Greg is cooking's not hard. Here's a meal you can make for anybody. So we're gonna boil some corn in a bit. We're also gonna saute some broccoli and then pair that with two pounds of chicken wings. So for two pounds of chicken wings, I do a cup of panko and a cup of flour and then the accoutrements over here. Now, I love a good panko, though. I feel like that's really what separates this wing better. So I like a heaping one. I like to let it go a little too much. We don't have to tell anybody, right? Our little secret. Go over there. Now, I go through a lot of flour in this house because I make a lot of chicken wings, so I got this big thing labeled flour. I keep it right next to the rat poison one, so sometimes we get into interesting places. YOLO. YOLO, exactly, Nick. You understand what's happening. Put that over there. Cups can get set aside. Here's where you get down to who do you want to be? How do you want to live? This is garlic, you just garlic powder. I like a lot of garlic powder. But the thing, I think the biggest compliment my wings ever get is the fact that you can have them with the buffalo sauce, which I'm gonna make today. You can eat them like fried chicken, right out of the oven, nothing on them, because this batter has spice to it, it has a flavor to it. You can put another sauce on there. It's really what you wanna do. If you're not gonna use the buffalo sauce part of it, you know, do whatever you want. What do you think pairs well with barbecue? What do you, do you, I'm putting cayenne in here, of course, so that they'll be, the batter itself would be hot on its own, you won't have to worry about anything. But if you don't want that, you don't have to worry about it. You can do whatever you want. Here's some pepper too. I don't have to do the fancy cracked pepper here, because we're using a lot of it. I like to see it, Nick. I gotta see it in there. You understand? Yeah, no. You got a problem with that? I feel. I felt that pepper hit that. You did? Oh yeah. Did it feel good? It was like a wave of emotions. Mostly good. Some confusion. A little fear. And you go in there. See, but like, yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see. I want to still see the pepper. The cayenne will usually get lost in there. That's what you want. And you want it to be a sleeper cell agent in there. You don't know what it's doing. Is my mouth watering? Of course it is. So there. That's a good mix of that guy. So basically I'm gonna open up the chicken, cut it up, because these are full on chicken wings. You can buy drummies by themselves, you can buy flats by themselves. I usually buy the whole chicken wing, trim them myself, which I'll do in a second. Then of course we'll go into the egg, into this, and then, most importantly, onto a baking sheet. Now in the last time I ever did this recipe, I'm kind of funny. Yeah, so some of you said, why not use parchment paper? And I said, huh, great idea. And it turns out it was a fantastic idea. Parchment paper's perfect. It gets the crisp I like and it doesn't burn the wing itself. Oh, I almost thought a parchment, parchment paper? Ah! No, don't worry. There's a store down the street if we need more parchment. Ah! No, we're okay. We're gonna be all right. So I lay that out like that. That's gonna kick up because it's being a jerk, but whatever. This, move this, and you can see I have the assembly line already starting to form. Right. But for right now, I'll cut it up. Now here's something that tripped me out a long time ago. I think you me. taught me this. Yeah. I always thought the drum and the wing sure. came from two different parts sure. of the chicken. Well, you know that like the longest when you're a kid or not even a kid, when you just don't know, so many people think the drummy, the drumette, whatever you want to call it, is in fact a baby chicken leg. They don't understand that, yeah, this all assembles into one beautiful piece of bird. So which one's the wing, which one's the, the drum? Like before I cut it? Yeah. Good. This is the drummy. You can see it there. Oh. And then this is this is the flat here. And then this is the tip nobody wants. And then on the bird, it would be like this, you know? Kicking it out like that. Fascinating, there right? you go. Didn't know that. I gotta get you a bigger chef's knife, my friend. I feel like you're- oh, I got a big one if I want. Oh yeah, you, but so, I like, you this like one, the smaller this is, my, this is my blade, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, already a Stark. 
This is the blade I want. I don't need to worry about anything else. Oh. See that little Game of Thrones reference? I was. But you thought I didn't have it in me, but I did. Does that mean we can put Game of Thrones legitimately in the thumbnail for this episode? Pretty sure. Cool. Yeah, I think at this point, you could just call it, yeah, Arya Stark and Greg Miller make wings. Fantastic. Cooking with Greggy. Episode Great. whatever. Yeah. And uh, the, you season know, eight just, spoilers. Whoever's editing this, just put Arya right there. And we'll be like, it'll be like this. It's good, right? And she's like, what's good? <laughs> you didn't do anything. It doesn't matter, are you? Shut up! All right, so now we're gonna assemble the assembly line here. Now, another thing I think, I can't remember if it was in the last one in the YouTube comments or if it was in the first time in the comments. It's something you guys taught me, watchers of our content, is the fact that for a while what I was doing is using both hands to do both things and my fingers got all gross and like compacted with my, my I was battering my own fingers. And I complained about it in one of the shows, and, or the one of the how-to videos, and you guys were like, well, why don't you just use one hand for egg and one hand for that? I was like, fuck, you guys are brilliant, so I do that now. So this is now my egg hand, congratulations hand, you've been elected to egg council. Scoop this. Do this. Dip a little bit off there. Toss them in there. I usually do two, so I have enough room to move around in there, move them around, press them down. We got a good mix today, Nick, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm happy with how this is compacting. Very happy with the panko crumbs we're getting on there. I feel like you're on your game today. I'm not gonna lie, I am. I'm feeling it, as the kids say. As Blink-182 would say. I'm feeling it. Turn all the lights down low. Greg's feeling it. I'm making the chicken wing slow. Greg's feeling it. I don't like Andy, I think we should get rid of him. This is a way to have a serious conversation with Nicholas. All right, so that's it for these guys. They're good, they're gonna go. We're gonna pop in the oven now at 435. It's preheated, don't know if that was on camera. And we're gonna pop it in there for 20 minutes. I'm not quite sure then, Alexa, I did not say your name yet. So for right now, these guys are going in. You want another, you want a beauty shot of them there? We're putting these breaded bad boys in the oven, 435 for 20 minutes. And then we're gonna flip them at that and put them in for 20 more. All right, that's good. Go with God. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now the future. All right, it's been 20 minutes, so we're gonna pull the wings out, uh, put them over here, and I'll flip them one by one. Of course, use an oven mitt like Mr. Stay Puff, and then you don't wanna burn your countertops, so use an oven mitt with your former boss on it that you wanna see burn. Not because he was a bad boss, but because for some reason he thought it was okay to give Mario Kart Double Dash a 7.9. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna hit, oh, they're looking good. Oh, they fogged up the glasses, that's how you know it's good. Now I'm picking them up, I'm holding them. I'm also increasing to 445 over there for this next 20 minutes over there, but you can get a good look at those, Nick. Look at them, look at them. Oh my God, Nick, do you see them? They're gorgeous. Parchment paper, I'm telling you, great, great find by you guys telling me to use parchment paper. Thank you so very much. Of course, I want you on YouTube telling me things that I should cook, things I should do differently. Not like being an asshole about it. A lot of you somehow get this, like you get really testosterone-y about it, like, no, my wings would kick the shit out of your wing. Well, you know, fuck you, man. How about that? I'll come to your house and fucking shit on your wife. But for the one of you that just have like, Christ. <laughs> for the ones that have actually like helpful tips, I'm very, pro I'm very happy with those. Thank you for those. Not the ones that make me want to come there and really hurt your children. Cause like a lot of people don't think that I do it, Nick, but I would gladly break into someone's house and just fuck kids up. I know how crazy you are. You know what really? I mean? Really? Like I've seen the real crazy. I, I guarantee you do it. Cause it would just be that thing where they're like, good night to me, good night. Boom, what was that, dad? And then it was the first, that was me kicking the front door. <laughs> and I come in and I kick in Timmy's door. Now you're gonna try to step up, but you're, you are making the mistake of sitting there fucking reading him a little bedtime story, you know what I mean? So you're in a bad spot down here. So I can just cry, ah, like right in there, flying knee kick right to the face. You're right, you're done. And then Timmy's like, what? And I'm like, I'm gonna do fucked up wrestling moves to you now. And he's like, what is that? And but I kick him and I power bomb him through his bed. Great stuff. Now, as I said before with this recipe, the wings can be done any way you want. You can just eat, pull them out, let them cool a second, eat them like fried chicken, now put anything on them. You could put a little bit, of, a little bit more salt and pepper on there, you could put some lemon on there, that'd be delicious. You can, you know, uh, barbecue sauce them. You can buffalo sauce them, because that's my favorite. That's what I'm gonna do. I like the Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. Available at fine retailers everywhere. I'm gonna bust out a saucepan for this. How much you wanna use depends on how saucy you want your wings. I'm a man who likes a good saucy wing. Not too much. I'm gonna start there. 
All right, I'm gonna drop the corn in. It's not a rolling boil yet, but it's right there, so it's good enough. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. I'm gonna come over here to the wok now, light him up. I'm gonna let him go medium high. I want the wok to, similar to if you ever see me do a show with a cast iron skillet, I want it to get hot and like have that kind of like smoke to it almost. Like there's like the steam slash smoke that I know how hot it is. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Tossing in my oil here. Don't get crazy with it, but you wanna, you know, coat the pan there. Get, oh, you can smell the olive oil too. That's always great, Nick. When you put it down there, you immediately smell it. Cause what I'm gonna do now, come in here. Drop that garlic in. Start spinning it. I want it expressed in the oil. I want to smell that. My pr thing is, of course, I don't want to burn the garlic. If I let it sit, it'll brown real quick and burn, and I don't want that. Come over here. Drop it in my broccoli. And now, we're in business, Nick. Woo! You feel it? You feeling it, Nick? I'm certainly hearing it. See it? You're seeing, it. You're seeing all the beautiful green in that start to pop out. While that goes in here, do my first wave, because it's getting touched now by all the, the lovely olive oil, garlicky olive oil. You wanna make sure you're getting your salt in there, your pepper in there, not too much salt. Just enough to make it delicious. Let's start spinning it up, yeah, yeah. Seeing these broccolis come to life, Nick. Look at them. The filter, Nick, you don't need a filter. Hashtag no filter, cooking with Greg. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? No timer is set. All right, that's been five minutes. Because <laughs> it's, it's a struggle to find a really great way to present your food sometimes. Mm -hmm. The struggle's real. It is, you know what I mean? You're threading the needle on that one, buddy. Hey, buddy, you know what? All the greats do it. Look up Rachel Ray. I think she's over here afraid of what's gonna happen with her rustless wing. Rustless is busy wing. Rachel Ray isn't afraid of anything. Certainly she not. Ain't, she ain't afraid of anything. Rachel Ray's not afraid of anything. Greg Miller's not afraid of anything either. Because of Rachel Ray. So here we go. All these crunchy badass boys over here. Seeing that? That's what we're talking about, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. The color. The texture. You know, saucy bad boy. Like I said, every time it's different. Is that enough? Is it not? We'll find out. And then you need the old spin. And the old flip. In my younger years, of course, I might take a baking sheet, put it over this while I flipped it. Afraid I'd lose a wing. I'd lose some sauce. I'm not afraid of that today, Nick. But yeah. Looks like we had just the right amount of sauce. That's a nice there. level of coverage you got there. Well, that's what I'm looking for. Cut that out. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Miller chicken wings with a side of corn, some sauteed broccoli with some salt, pepper, and garlic. Like I said, the wings are the main attraction. Sauce them however you want to. Put whatever you want with them sidewise. This is just a good rustic plate. Maybe somebody walks up, you snatch stuff off, you make your little plates, you go from it. That's actually a good thing. Hold on, Nick. Don't, Nick, don't leave. Eight more episodes. See, like this, no, shut up. This drives it home, like what, what we're going for. You see? You see that, you don't think, man, I'm eating off one giant thing. You're thinking, you know what? I'm eating off these little guys. That's how you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? of this whole meal, this whole presentation, how I cooked my wings. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna be nice, if you're gonna be mean, just keep on going. There's other places to talk. And until next time, no, it's been my pleasure to serve.